Hello, this is my recipe. It is my recipe for quiche. Now, as you can see, the items are very easy. You need two pie crust, a mixing bowl, eggs, four, an onion, broccoli, ham, cheese, and whipped cream. Now, the first thing that I do when I start is I also use salt and pepper, I'm sorry. When I, when I start a, my dinner, I start putting by putting the whipped cream in the mixer. I put the whipped cream in and I let it, um, I let it go, it stir for at least long enough so that it starts getting like a peak, like a meringue. I want my, my um, quiche to be very light and very fluffy. So hold on, I will do that now. Some whipped cream, a little bit of salt. I use a few dashes, I don't use a lot. I put it in, put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I turn on the mixer. Now I've cut up the ham, the cheese, the broccoli, and as you can see, the whipped cream is very light and fluffy. I'm going to put that in right now. Everything goes right into the pot, just like that. Now I use a, a pint of, um, of whipped cream. You can add a little bit of water to it. I'm not really fond of doing that. I like to add three to four eggs. Now I recommend baking it at 350 degrees. It usually takes about 40 minutes. This is, um, right now I'm going to cut up an onion. Now I'm going to add the onions. I use about one half a large one. And I don't put a lot of onions in it. And, um, I'm going to mix it again. Now, this is, um, pretty pretty light and creamy right now and it kind of almost looks like a meringue but that's all right it makes it, it makes it much lighter I don't like the color of it if you look it's a little bit light so I am gonna add one more egg it depends on if the eggs are large medium small these are supposed to be large but they're quite small actually so I like to have a little bit more color to my eggs both both shells I try to divide them equally to be honest most of the time when I make quiche I make two um, one large pot but most people like to think that the quiche is being in a pie crust I have to make sure that the, the ham is cut. Now, making the, the um, cheese into chunks allows it to melt as it cooks. So this is all ready to go in the oven. It's very simple. It only takes a very few minutes. Now I do use American cheese and domestic ham. You can try other cheeses I have and it's not really my favorite thing. I have broccoli, ham, cheese, 
I am now going to set the timer for 35 minutes and then I'm going to check it. Now this is how a key should look when it's done. It's very good. It took about 36 minutes for us to be done. I think it looks very hearty, very delicious to try. And after it cools for a few minutes, the best thing about my quiche is that it tastes just as good after it's microwaved as it does the first time you taste it. So dig in.